In this video, you'll learn how to provide vector data for the map control. I'll start with a project that already has a ribbon form and map control that's connected to Bing services. The vector items layer allows adding vector items to the map. I'll add some vector items loaded from an XML file. Let's open the layers collection editor and add the vector items layer object to the collection. Next, set the layers data property to list source data adapter. Specify the adapter's mappings. And set the latitude and longitude mappings. Next, set the default map item type to push pin. Now set the name of a layer to items layer and close the editor. Let's switch to the code editor. Here are properties to access the vector layer from the collection using the layer's name and the adapter from the layer. In the form loaded event handler, I set the data source property to the items collection loaded from XML and subscribe to the layer's data loaded event. In the event handler, call the map controls zoom to fit layer items method. And let's see how this looks. We have several vector items displayed as push pins. Now let's change from push pins to images. I'll assign the prepared images collection to the map controls image list property. Invoke the layer collection editor and set the image index property of the vector layer to zero. That means that the image with the index zero from the map controls image list is used. And let's run the application again. And the push pins look like ships now. Another approach to using a vector layer is displaying items loaded from a standard vector format. To demonstrate this, I'll load a shape file to the map control. Let's open the layers collection editor and add another vector layer. Assign the shape file data adapter to the layers data property. Specify its URI. I'm using the country's shape file shipped with the DevExpress controls demo. Now let's color these shapes. I'll specify the colorizer property of the layer and set it to graph colorizer. Then specify the predefined color scheme property to palette. Next, hide the layer by default by setting the visible property to false. And finally, set the name of the layer to vector map layer. And let's run the application one last time. I've added buttons to the ribbon that will switch between visible layers. I'll show the vector map and hide vector items. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress. Thank <laughs> you.